and I can't get them. I tried to tell your ass, bro. See what I'm saying? When you first got into it, talking about they killing over colors in Cali, and now you trying to jump in S Bone B for Crip Mac and do all that. I told you, bro. Now they busting at you. <coughs> I'm telling you this because, like, bro, I'm scared. I'm from California, and I'm scared of Cali too because. I know how you don't, Yella, you don't, Yella, listen, man. I know Chicago is bad, bro. I know. Chicago is, is bad, one of the baddest places in America. I'm trying to make people understand, bro. California is different, bro. It's just different. It's, and I know this, King Yella, you young, you like in your early 30s or something. You part of this new generation that want to test stuff out, like, for centuries, they say don't go through that door, but social media has loosened up our mind and loosened up our beliefs, so let's go through that door. Listen, bro, ain't nobody ever been able to play with Cali. Cali don't even play with Cali. And then just to even be on some realistic shit that makes sense, ain't no niggas in Cali trying to be like, I mean, ain't no niggas in Chicago trying to talk crazy while they in Chicago. You in Vegas, bro, you in, you in, you in baby Cali. Ain't nobody in Chicago talking crazy about Chicago while they out there. That don't make, like, that don't even make no sense. Like, bro, I'm, I'm, okay, bro. They bust at you with your kids in the car, bro. If you smart, if you really just wave the white flag, bro, listen, you gotta listen. Ain't nobody ever been able to do it. That's what you're not understanding. I know you want to be the first person. You, you getting fused, you getting clout. You know why? Because you got more and more niggas looking at your channel trying to get on you. Cali niggas, bro, listen, I done been around, like I told y'all, New Orleans niggas is on par with Cali niggas. Philly niggas. Chicago niggas. Y'all on par with... So just imagine, you can't yell it, just imagine a nigga from California being in Chicago talking crazy about Chicago while they can be seen somewhere around Chicago. It's the same thing, bro. You see what happened to NBA Indian Red Boy, bro. You seen what happened to PNB Rock. You see what happened to people, bro. I don't know why you playing. Why you playing with your life, bro. Like Benny Siegel say, play with something safe. I keep telling y'all, Cali Underworld is, is, it get treacherous, bro. It get treacherous when you, look, man, when you gotta pay 2,500 for one bedroom, it get, it get treacherous, bro. Even in the hood, it get treacherous. It's, it's, it's 2,500 for a studio apartment in the hood, bro. Niggas is eating soup with chopsticks in California, bro. It's like, why would you want to do it? it just that's what I'm saying, King Yellow. Look, I like you too, but just stay on Chicago business, bro. Just leave Cali alone, bro. I'm telling you, I'm a Cali nigga, bro. I left, I moved. Now I can't be. It's too much pressure. It's too many people know me from my past and all that. Too many, like, nah, niggas get on you so fast in Cali, bro. They probably seen you, and then you was in San Bernardino. You wasn't even in like the hard part, like, but it's. It go down, it, that's what I'm saying, it go down everywhere in Cali, bro. You was in San Bernardino and that shit happened to you. I can only imagine if you hit like LA or something. Bro, it's, it's like, y'all gonna learn, bro. Stop playing with Cali. Listen, man, and I ain't even saying this from thinking I'm tough or thinking Cali tough. I'm saying this because I want to save people's lives, bro. Listen, man, I'm on here to make videos to save lives. Leave Cali alone. Go live in all these other places. Talk about other, all these other places. Do all that, bro. Y'all see what's happening in California, bro. Like I know y'all hard-headed. I know y'all like them little kids that just can't keep their hand away from the stove. Listen, leave California out of the street stuff. When if you not, if you not, leave it alone. And I, and, I, and it's crazy because I know this is daring some of y'all. I know we making this video is daring y'all, bro. And don't come to me. Don't be like, I'm going to get him because he think Cali. No, I'm, I'm telling you, y'all, look. Bruh. My partner, Reggie Preston, had been away. Everybody from the rich No, rep, man. Rest in peace to my nigga, Reggie, bro. He had been away from Richmond for years. Went to Central to visit his daughter. Where I'm from in Cali, they sent platoons of niggas through there to sliver through. Like it's, like a, it's like a shift like on the job. They send niggas in the morning, in the afternoon, and at nighttime. Whoever grown outside with a hat on or something or look like they 15 and up, they getting killed. Stood over and everything. Just for being outside. Like California is just, it's set on autopilot for destruction, bro. And all you, look, look. And I know, see our underworlds are huge, just like five Chicago's in California. See, this the thing. 
when you go into cat listen, 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 listen i hope i can break this down to people when you go to california you join in something you you've been a part of something that's already going on and i and i'm just saying just with hoods period but especially with cali like if you go walk in the jungle right now it's it's lions and bears and tigers that's used to killing stuff that's smaller than them and eating it and not even paying attention to what happened like in cali it's people robbing people shooting at each other all day every day if you say that if you bring up cali and put yourself in the middle of that you at least with the gds and with all that stuff in chicago you know you know we're way around all that you know what i'm saying but in cali you joining something that's already going on, bro, and you gonna put yourself in some shit that ain't. Now, if niggas start putting bread on your head, and then you dry snitching, saying it was Mexicans, you dry snitching. And for those of y'all who don't know, the Mexicans go just as hard as the black people 